Hey guys, my name's Ashley and welcome back to Science by Ashley. This week I traveled a few hours south of Sydney to a place called Himes Beach at Jervis Bay. This beach is renowned for having some of the whitest sand in the world. What makes the sand so white? Stay tuned to learn more. when rocks break down over thousands to millions of years from erosion and weathering. Wind, rain, and the constant action of waves and tides aid in this erosion. The color of the sand is determined by the organic material that formed it, whether it's rocks, shells, or coral skeletons. The world's widest beaches, such as the one I'm at today, are made out of highly purified white quartz. Quartz is one of the most abundant minerals found on the Earth's surface. It is a chemical compound containing one part silicon and two parts oxygen. It is found in igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks and comes in almost every color. The grains of white quartz found at Himes Beach are incredibly pure, fine, and round. This gives the sand another unique characteristic, the ability to squeak. This is due to the friction between the clean and uniform layers of sand. Now, white quartz isn't the only thing that makes up white sand beaches. Around Australia and the rest of the world, a lot of white beaches are actually made out of fish poop. Organisms such as parrotfish eat pieces of the coral's calcium carbonate skeleton and then poop them out as white sand. While this produces white sand as well, it can't compare to the beaches made out of pure white quartz sand. In order for the sand to remain this white and squeaky, it is important that it remains free of dust, pollution, and other organic material. Pick up all your trash and pick up trash others may have left behind in order to preserve the beauty and purity of beaches all around the world. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe below to keep up to date with all my latest science videos. See you guys next time.